because this is the way I want to train her. And one thing I like about her is that each time she comes to me, she'll come forward with her three views. Okay? I only guided her to see a different perspective and see the bigger picture. Okay? I'm glad that my daughter is actually resourceful okay? and able to be the appropriate judgment and decision. Okay? And I'm very proud that she has done well in the work and uh, has very good relationship with her colleagues and stakeholders. Um, there's one thing that uh, I've been keeping in my heart for a long, long time, you know, for almost few years. That I would like to actually I owe the dog to which I think. Okay. I, she, if it's not because of her, I will not have the opportunity to stand up here today to talk, to deliver this speech. She actually saved my life. Okay, on 19 November 2012, it was about three years ago. I suffered a sudden cardiac arrest. There was no symptom. I just collapsed. My heart stopped. My breathing ceased. For several minutes, okay, I was gone. And then Shakin applied the CPR. Now, she doesn't have any experience in CPR. At that moment, she was actually on the job training. Why? Because she was on the phone call with the SCPF, uh, ambulance headquarters. They were teaching her how to apply CPR on me. She may not be successful, but I think she brought the several critical minutes that keep me alive until the ambulance arrived with the defibrillator. And after three, three times they applied the electric uh, defibrillator on me, they found some things heartbeat and it was much too possible. I was in coma for six days. During that period itself, uh, Shredin actually acted on behalf of the family, advising the doctors, and I, I'm sure you can understand the kind of stress she was undertaking at that time. Day after day, minutes after minutes, she was bombarded by all the bad news of my deteriorating conditions to the extent that the doctor told her to prepare for the worst to the extent that the doctor told her to check whether I have my final wish to fulfill but finally actually I survived because I woke up on the sixth day and but unfortunately I suffered delirium I was not in a state of mind I couldn't make any decision for myself and she again was very resourceful. She tried back to my cardiologist and cardio surgeon, persuade them to come and visit me to give their expert prognosis. And at the same time, she actually arranged with my cardiologist, which has moved to a private hospital, to follow up with a special surgery on me to keep me going. All in all, I stayed in the hospital for almost 26 days. But in these 26 days, I've seen a remarkable change in Shetty. She has matured. She became very, she was actually responsible, but more responsible. Okay. And I think she is very decisive. And I'm very proud that actually she could handle the crisis. Now, during our conversation with my wife, we, when we touch on the same thing about my, my cardiac arrest and so we do agree that uh, we are lucky to have Shetting as my daughter, as our daughter. And we also agree that whoever marries her is a hell of a, uh, is a, hell of a lucky guy. <laughs> and the lucky guy is. Now, when Eddie called me once, they out the blue to request for permission to propose such a thing. I was actually shocked. It was never in our culture that, that somebody called me and said, hey, I want to propose to your daughter. And in fact, I only have one. You know, I, I, I will have experience in that too. 
in my mind, there's so many things that's happening. Okay? It's multiplexing. I thought of telling, uh, I've been um, permission granted, subject to terms and condition, and uh, completion of due diligence. But that's too cheap. I decided that the best one to use is congratulations. What I mean is that congratulations to Abby. You actually get a very nice girl. Okay? It's our pearl, our jewel, and our happy nun, as we call it. So, actually, we also glad to have Abby. And I see the young man who is a very sociable, very nice chap. Okay? And I'll take this opportunity to welcome to the family. Closer la. So we've heard a bit about sweating. Now it's time to hear a bit more about Edwin. Good evening. For those that don't know me, my name is uh, David. I've had the pleasure of uh, knowing Edwin since we were both about four years old um, when we met in kindergarten in Sri Chambaka back in about 1988 or 87. Well, before I start, I'd just like to share with you just a short story. Uh, once upon a time, there was a man, and uh, he asked this woman, Will you marry me? And she said, No. Then the man lived happily ever after, rode motorcycles, went fishing, played video games, played golf a lot, drank beer and whiskey, and had all the money in the bank, and left the toilet seat up, and did whatever he wanted. The end. A few years ago, I was actually worried that Edwin would be that man in the story. But now I'm worried that uh, Adrian Mark, our good friend, will be uh, that man. It's a, it's a real privilege here to stand here today, and I would like to thank Edwin for giving me the opportunity to embarrass him on the most important day of his life. Congratulations on being upgraded from the question, when is the big day, to when will the babies be coming? Of course, my job now is to dig up all the juice I have about Edwin, right from his childhood up until now, to share with all of you, and perhaps Zuetting will get to know her new husband in a different way. Just a bit of background, I, I, I have to apologize to XTS. Unfortunately, Edwin didn't share his first kiss with you. I'm not sure whether I should even be saying this, but probably at about the age of five or six, I don't know what possessed me to give Edwin a peck on his cheek at school. <laughs> I'm cringing as I'm saying this, but it was just an innocent childish thing, and uh, so nothing, nothing remotely gay about it. We quickly grew out of that. We quickly grew out of that, and we would spend the next few years Spend the next few years playing Street Fighter on Sega and Nintendo, entertain ourselves by ringing doorbells and run away. We didn't have iPads at that time to keep us entertained, so we actually played outdoors when it used to be safe. We then moved on to collecting things, all sorts of things, from Street Fighter stickers to Star Wars toys, comic books and basketball cards. Now we soon grew out of that as well, most of us have, and we got into all sorts of sports. You know, football, basketball, ping pong, snooker. We would spend countless of hours in the dark, smoky snooker parlors before, during, and after our extra tuition classes. I would consider this, our school years the most enjoyable years of our life. And I frequently recollect these memories of which Edwin has played a significant part in. However, there are a few things that Edwin didn't grow out of. His love for fast food, candy, video games, and I'm pleased, so happy that Edwin has found someone to share all of that with. As little boys, we would be running away from all these little evil girls all the time. But of course, we grew out of that as well. Edwin quickly became a quite a popular guy in school, college and university, but Edwin was, was pretty picky. So picky until we were some of us were questioning his sexuality for a while. You might, be, you might be astonished to learn that XT wasn't Edwin's first love. I hope you don't mind me bringing this up today, Edwin. You might just want to squirm down in that seat for a few minutes. <laughs> well, as you got older, it was only a matter of time before this reasonably cute young man 
with a witty banter, found himself a special friend. Sure enough, he gained a companion, and they soon got to a stage where they went everywhere together, and luckily they shared many common interests. They would watch TV together, play video games together, eat together, became so close that they relied on each other emotionally. Sharing all the happy times, birthdays, Christmas. On one particular evening, he even took the risk and had to bribe the police to get him out of trouble. But as these things often go, distance came between them and they started to go their separate ways. Edwin was working hard, very hard to believe I know, and didn't have much time for his special friend. They finally went their separate ways, with Edwin going back home for work, but thanks to a recent chance encounter in KL, and a gentle nudge in the right direction, I managed to get in touch with Edwin's special friend. Luckily she had no other plans today, and she was brave enough to come here to wish the happy couple well for the future. So without further ado, Will you please give a warm welcome to Teddy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Teddy will enjoy spending, uh, spending, spending some time with you in your honeymoon as well. <laughs> You look quite tense, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, besides Teddy, Edwin had a second love. <laughs> For those that know me, Michael Jordan has been my idol ever since I was young. For Edwin, it was a certain English striker who played for Newcastle. A few months ago, I wrote to him to say that I'm attending Edwin and Zwetting's wedding and told him that he's a lifelong support fan of his. And this is what he wrote back. To Edwin and Zwetting, best wishes, Alan Shearer. <laughs> the first time I met XT was at my wedding um, two years ago, and um, Edwin had actually managed to keep their relationship a secret from me for over two years. He just told me to save an extra seat for a friend. He also managed to keep his engagement to her a secret from me for almost a year. This may sound cheesy, but I knew XC was the one for Edwin the moment I met her. You know, everything about her, from the way she laughs at his jokes, <laughs> to her love for candy as well. There was no doubt it wasn't going to be long before they followed suit. I'd just like to spend the next few minutes sharing some qualities of Edwin that I've learned over the last three decades. Number one, he's the joker in the life of every gathering. Many of you will already have noticed this, but you know, Edwin is usually the life of any party or gathering. Whenever he's not around, his presence is always missed. His crazy antics, lack of ability to drink and tolerate alcohol is usually the highlight of any party. I'm sure all of you will bear witness to that tonight. I was going to show you a collection of photos of Edwin with a bright red face throwing up on the pavement, but I thought that wouldn't be very pleasant. Second thing is that Edwin values friendships. Um, not only is he a favourite amongst girls, he's also a great friend to us guys. This is evident by the number of times he's been asked to be one of the ushers, best men or hang ties at weddings since the wedding season started amongst our group of friends. 
Now this is a testament of how important he is to many of us and the impact he has on our lives. The third thing is that Edwin loves his family. Right from the outset, it was very clear about that. And it's such an important quality to have. He would always make it a point to spend as much time with his family before coming out with us. Now, XT, you are part of Edwin's family now, and I can assure you that Edwin will make you his priority throughout his life and will definitely ensure that you're always happy. Now, having been married for only just under two years, some may say that I'm not probably qualified to give any advice or tips about having a good married life. Now, Edwin and XT are both auditors, and recently Edwin has been working very hard, as evidenced by his receding hairline. So I'd just like to, to just share one, one simple tip on how to have a good married life. Now, XT, um, would you put your right hand facing up on the table? And Edwin, can you put your left hand over hers? I'd like you to remember this moment, Edwin, because this is the last time you'll ever have the upper hand. So... <laughs> Along with many of you here today, I had the privilege of growing up with Edwin over the last 30 years, and I've seen this cheeky, playful joker grow up into a loving family man who has certainly got his priorities right in his life. I'm looking forward to spending the next 30 years and more seeing our next generation grow up together. Now to Exe's parents, I can assure you that Edwin will look after Exe through whatever circumstances that she may go through and that he will be there for her. To Edwin's mom, Auntie Cindy, I'm sure you're very happy that Edwin has found the love of his life. Now you can ask when you can have more grandchildren to play with. And to XT, you couldn't have married a finer man. A better drinker, but not a finer man. I'm very sure that they are a perfect match. And we'll look after each other and have a long and happy future together. Thank you. And somewhere, sorry, can I just... Yeah, I got it. I got it. Now I feel like a head prefect. <laughs> yep. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Wassalam, uh, bismillah, to my Muslim friends. Jasprit, in the Purige. This is really weird. I mean, I'm standing up here at my own wedding, shitting here. I mean, this is not something that I ever imagined. It's not, um, I was never the marrying kind. As, uh, I don't know what David was talking about, but it's all bullshit. <laughs> but, 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 um, they say the wedding is basically the best night of your life. Uh, I don't believe in that, because I'm positive that uh, there will be many, many more days ahead, which are much better than this, and it can only get better. Tonight is very special to XT and myself. Um, Naturally, it feels a bit like a normal yam cha, because it's the same faces for the last 20 years. <laughs> but it also feels great to see like some new faces, and, and it's really great. I mean, it was difficult. It wasn't difficult to pick out our guest list simply because we knew exactly who we wanted to be here. Um, basically, if if we didn't really like you, we wouldn't have set out an invite. So. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I mean, it's, it's great to really have each and every one of you here. This, this entire list has been thought out through I know Hanyin, you know, we really like you. It's not because we want Billy and you're a plus one. We like you a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys could have been just anywhere else on a Sunday evening, spending time with your loved ones, but you chose to be here, and, and we are extremely grateful for this. Um, you know, growing up in Malaysia, um, we've been told that you know, Singaporean women, they're vicious, they're calculating, they're cold. And there's all this Malaysian propaganda. <laughs> but it's, it's not true. When I, when I first met XT, I thought, hey, you know, she's got some pretty good attributes. Some really bad ones as well. But today we focus on the positives. 
Yeah. <laughs> and, and now she's reconsidering. Yeah. Well, when, when I first proposed to XT, um, she thought for a long time, and, and the first words that came out of her mouth were, oh shit. <laughs> and, and then the next thing that she asked was, did you, did you clear my parents? And, and of course I did, I mean, I, I got uh, dad, mom's approval, I got my mom's approval, everyone's blessing. You know, being the good auditor that I am. Um, yeah. And then, basically, I mean, that, that tells you how family stands in XT's life. It's, it's everything. And to me, that's, that's a reflection of what's important to myself as well. And I don't think it would have been possible if she was coming from a completely different place. So I think that's something that we, we really agree on. I mean, the other things, if we don't agree, that's, that's okay. Um, we got a place near the parents, so if anything doesn't work out, you know, thanks dad, we're uh, gonna send them back home. <laughs> but we focus on the positives, I think we'll have a, <laughs> I think we'll have a really, really good time, seriously. Um, yeah, and then she got her senses and then she said yes, of course. So growing up, I think um, the key element in XT and, and myself, I think we speak for, for both of us when I say this, is that basically we've, we are very fortunate for the parents that we've had, my late dad, my mom, uh, I'm sure it's the same for XT's dad, mom, we've got, a, we've got the same set of brothers, we've got sisters-in-laws, brought in kids to the family, I mean I can't imagine how it would be different without any one of us, and, and it means a lot to us. My typing is a bit bad. So. Yeah, so basically, I think what we are not exactly role models or, or like a symbol of uh, of a great son or anything. I hope we haven't really disappointed you guys as well. I think XC is there as has given a glowing statement of what kind of daughter XC is. I hope my mom feels the same. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, I think this is also the more important part as well. We'd like to convey our special thanks to a whole bunch of uh, really important people, I mean, all of you. And on top of that, our MCs, Warriors and Ama tonight, I mean, they're fantastic. They are open for hire if you want. Just call 1-800-GELANG. <laughs> oh, they are also single. So, yeah, if you guys are interested, or if not, huh? <laughs> Oh yeah, who said Malays cannot speak English? I mean, these guys... <laughs> These guys are awesome. I'd like to thank also my, my family, friends, all of you here. They've traveled from, you know, as, as close as Salcha Road all the way up to Malaysia. In fact, this guy comes from a place called Wales. I don't know where's that. And, and it means a lot to us as well. Um, special thanks also to, to Matt and Tim. I know you guys came all the way from Canada. Um, you know, it's, it's a really, really long flight. And I, I hope it's, it's been fun for you guys and you have a good trip in Singapore. Uh, my dear sis Anissa, Engwa, you guys came with three kids. Yeah, Valerie, you're still a kid. Um, thanks, thanks so much for coming. It's, it's really awesome to have you all here. Um, finally, Dr. David Chan, I mean, coming out here, I don't feel bad having made you travel because I know your patience will last this weekend without being on your operating table. So. <laughs> And yeah, I'll, 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 hang, I'll hang on to my wife, XT. I think she has a few words to say. You're nothing for me. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, wait. <laughs> ben. Ben. You're right, David is about the upper hand and shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, needless to say, now I have to say that XT is with a great partner. She's a great wife. We look forward to many happy years together. And yeah, we look forward to a lot of good things together. Um, yeah, I mean, actually, it's special to me. I mean, I've, I've been always picky with what I do, I mean, what I eat, uh, the people that I associate myself with. I mean, to pick a wife is, is a really big deal. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, to pick a friend is, I mean, in most cases, you discard them. But you, you pick a wife, you gotta be really sure. And, and I, I don't think I could have found someone that's, that's better than XD.
Yeah, now she got what she wants. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, just like to reiterate my wins point. for accommodation uh, and traveling very far as well uh, to be here and it means a lot to us. Uh, we, we appreciate a lot and to um, everyone's family and my family right now. So um, thank you for raising this wonderful boy. Um, and you know, thank you for making me feel very welcome on the first day when I met you guys. Thank you. Um, and I'd like to thank my parents, my family as well. Um, you know, it's not easy for us to be here today, as you have heard from my dad. Um, but, you know, thank you for supporting me in all the decisions that, you know, I have to go through. Um, and my brother, you know, although he's been a nuisance to me a lot of times, but, you know, he has been very supportive. Um, and I guess to my maid of honor, maid of honor as well, slash bridesmaid, slash but uh, I was trying very hard to find something for you to do today. Uh, but you know, I'm glad you are there uh, for me. And to the rest of the friends who I've missed out, family members, thank you for being here and spending time with us. Um, and of course, I prepared something for Edwin. I, it wasn't impromptu. Um, it's a door. Um, <laughs> I'm not yes, I don't I just. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, you know, I actually googled for a bride's speech and you know, a lot of people like to write about how the bride, when they meet the groom, you know, their lives changed. And they are so thankful for that. Um, but I'm thankful that you didn't create a havoc in my life. Um, and then, you know, we'll continue with you know, the usual kind of factor. Nothing's going to change, I hope. Uh, although I got up ahead. Um, yeah, that's it. And, you know, thank you again for being here. And glad all of you are just not friends, but family members as well. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, can I invite you to raise your glasses for the first toast to the newlywed couple? We wish them everlasting and blissful marriage filled with love, happiness, Enjoy. I'm sorry I can't do this in Hong Kong, but <laughs> yeah. Thank you all. <laughs> 
coming, coming. Okay. For those of you that have uh, things to be congratulated for, congratulations. I still need to look over some of you. And a toast to all you idiots for 20 years of friendship. No, I only got 10. I mean, 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 I Yeah, so oh, we fuck. 